Hello and welcome to Beauty Fit. Today we have our very own Anusha Sodavaram talking to us about gestational diabetes, postpartum weight loss, and dealing with diabetes. Hello, Anusha. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, so I'm here to talk about diabetes recti and gestational diabetes, which I had during my pregnancy. Uh, I'll come straight to the point uh, because that's our every most of the people's concern. Can this diabetes recti be rectified? Uh, uh, medically, I was identified as um, no, it cannot be rectified. Even the doctor said that, that it, um, it, it's my, my abdominal muscles have stretched to an extent that um, it, it cannot be uh, rectified non-surgically. No exercise or dieting can do it. Um, it can help me. Uh, the only way I can do is to get a surgery done, which I did give a consideration. But uh, when I got to know about the details and the post recovery uh, process, um, I seriously thought, no, I can't uh, go through again and, um, and let my somebody cut my tummy again. Um, so I thought um, I'll start my own journey. I'll do my own research and try to see how much I can <coughs> fix myself. Sorry to interrupt. What was your pre-pregnancy weight? How much you gained and what was the weight after you delivered the baby and it was a c-section right yeah, yeah. so my pre-pregnancy weight was 50 uh, and during pregnancy i put on around 20 kilos um, and both my pregnancies were um, c-section uh, uh, so my first pregnancy was um, delivery was emergency c-section because of which um, i couldn't attend to my abnormal muscles so that's when the that's directly actually started, I guess. Uh, my abdominal muscles got very, very weak. So when I when, when I got pregnant the second time, because there was no strength in my abdominal muscles, um, it stretched extensively. Yeah, um, so even when I was just four months pregnant, people used to think that I'm due any minute. Yeah. So or people used to think when I was eight, uh, seven or eight months pregnant, people used to think I'm crying carrying quadruplets so I was that huge so sorry to interrupt again so it does this happen after delivery or during your pregnancy this uh, that's is recti what is it because I ob obviously I honestly did hear about it until I heard it from Anusha so dance is recti is every woman who gets pregnant has dance is recti every woman what happens is many for many after the delivery oh, abdominal oh, muscles oh God, contract okay. and go back but for few to whose abdomen uh, who had a very huge tummy and uh, the muscle for some people the muscles go weak so when you deliver the baby they don't ha they don't go back norm to the normal position how it was before the, uh, so, the, it before does, the the, so it means that it doesn't contract back yeah. like how it does normally yeah it doesn't yeah. contract and uh, and it, because it depends, uh, usually every woman who has pregnant, uh, dies, uh, who, who gets pregnant and carries a baby has a diastasis recti of between two to three centimeters or so. But for me, I had a gap of ten centimeters, so there was no way that naturally it can contract. Um, and even the doctor said I have to go through surgery, uh, so which I didn't. So I took up things in my own hands, and what I did is um, I and choose a couple of things that I thought that I can introduce into my life all through my life into my life all changing through my your life. lifestyle yeah. Yeah. so oh, it's because if you want if you're introducing something in your life and you cannot continue it all your life so it makes no sense if you want to just do it for two That's months what we say three in months yeah. changing your lifestyle it yeah. makes no sense because once you give up again you are back to where you started yeah. uh, so I didn't want to that so what I did is I love food can't go on dieting. We love food. Um, I love my biryani. I love my stuff. Uh, yeah, fire. <laughs> everything, you know, all carbs, fat, yeah. fry, everything I love. Yeah. So what I did is, instead of doing dieting, I picked up intermittent fasting. Mm. And I was a bit harsh in the initial stage when I started this fitness journey. I only had a eating window of four hours, that 10 a.m. in the morning to 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Mm. Within these four hours every day, I would eat whatever I want. Yeah. May it be rice, dal, roti, chicken, my, whatever it is. So you anything, ate anything, anything, yeah. anything and everything. Okay, mm. I didn't say, oh, it's oily. I didn't ever mm. say, oh, this rice. Oh my God, so much of quantity. I even didn't think about the quantity. I ate as much as I can because I know I'm going to only have that. When one did meal. you have your last meal? Two. Two o'clock. 
initially when I started this journey, my window was from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's it. So within those four hours, I eat what I want. And the other thing I did is I completely eliminated sugar from my body uh, for three months. So for the three months, I didn't take anything that has sugar, not even a biscuit or a Coke, not even the one single sip. You know, sometimes we say, oh, egg sip se kya hota hai? Kind of the, yeah, wahi baat hai. But egg sip se hota hai. Exactly. So I don't, I didn't even take that. Uh, so for three months, no sugar. But intermittent fasting, for the first three months, 10 to 2, is what I followed. Uh, I've got another question. Did you start working out? When did you start working out after your delivery? After one hour, one year. One year? So you didn't do anything for one year I because of your C-section? Because of my C-section, I had infections and everything. Oh, yeah. So it was very, very sore. So I was, um, I delivered in 2018, June. I only started my exercising process last year, 2019, July. So it was more than a year. And when did you start the intermittent fasting? Uh, July last year is when I started. Uh, so I was um, around 70 kilos. I was around 64, 65, maybe mm-hmm. 70 was when I was uh, with the baby. Um, by I started intermittent fasting in July. Mm-hmm. So by November, I came down to 52. And trust me, I was not starving. I was not starving at all. I was eating what I want. Yes, for the few days, body feels very hungry. Oh, obviously, yeah. Because body is used to getting food all three times. It's the same uh, thing when you start fasting yeah. in Ramadan. You, you, you just, just a bit lost for a couple yeah, of days. Yeah, I think four it? to five days after that body got used to it. Body learned that when there is no food given through the mouth, they, they are f- fat. there is fat stored in the body that yes. they can pull out and use it for energy. So that's what you need to train your body. You need to train your body when you're hungry. Don't wait for the food, but there's already accumulated fat in my body. Please use that. That's, so that's you what need you to need lose. to train. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I did. And uh, intermittent fasting is definitely... I still do. It's become my part of my life now. I have changed my life to that. I work things around. Uh, trust me, even if I... Uh, but yeah, I don't stick to 10 to 2 anymore. Um, no, you so, don't need to anymore. Yeah, then. so uh, I don't stick to 10 to 2 anymore. But whatever I eat, I watch. Um, I eat um, enough that is needed for me to run for the next 24 hours or 18 hours. Yeah. And nothing I eat, nothing, nothing, nothing after 5. Definitely in the evening. Yeah, that's what we say in Beauty yeah. Fit. Finish Don't. Early. Finish yeah. it. Finish I try early, to finish yes. by 3, 4. But sometimes it's yeah. a party or you know, yeah. it's a lazy you know, Weekends afternoon. we cheat. Yeah. It's okay. So if afternoon, evening, yeah. lazy. Yeah. Or your kids want something yummy and you cook yeah. for them. And you, you can't have, resist. Yeah. You eat. That's yeah, you fun. should have best of both worlds. So weekends you can give it a break when you, are, when you have achieved your target. That's what I say as well. Mm. Yeah, so you can let go yourself. You can be easy on se- yourself once you achieve it. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You should know yeah. your destination, then plan your journey. That's what I say. And tell so, us what exercises you should do and what you should really, really avoid. Um, people do say that people who have uh, on various Google and even doctors advise that when you have diastasis recti, don't do uh, planks, don't do uh, sit-ups, don't do push-ups. Um... But what I did is, I did all of them, but I introduced into my body slowly. Mm. So what I did is, with intermittent fasting, I used to do, I I do 10 kilometers of run every day. And that has helped me to lose lots of abdominal fat, whatever I was left. So after that, when I started feeling my abdominal muscles, because when you have diastasis recti, you can't feel abdominal muscles. Uh, but once three, four months into this intermittent fasting and continuous running, uh, and my I kind of physically kind of started feeling fit. I started feeling my abdominal muscles. So Could when feel the tightness. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can, if I if I breathe in, I can feel this contracting. Yeah, my muscles are contracting. So when I started feeling that, that's when I started with plank. Okay. And um, so first you started with running, and then you started. With yeah, your first planks. I had to get rid of all the yeah. fat. So when you felt it's strong enough. Exactly. To hold the weight and do the yeah. workout, then you started. Okay, yeah. that's the point to be noted. Because what happens? The reason they say not to do planks or squats or anything is because you for uh, when you have diastasis, you can't feel the abdominals. So you don't know if you're pulling it in the right way or not. 
So if you don't know if you're pulling it in the right way, so instead of doing good to your body, you might be actually damaging. Oh, so that's the logic. That's the logic. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So until unless you can start feeling it, so don't give hope if you don't feel it right now. Continue. Lose fat as much fat as yeah, possible. I think that's a very very good point. You start with running. First, make your body strong, and then I think yeah. it's a very very good point. Yeah. So yeah, once you once I started feeling my abdominal uh, abdominal muscles, I started with planks, I started with squats, especially with kettles. Okay, what exercises in particular you think helps, and what you think you should avo- avoid? Yeah. So uh, what helps is definitely losing the fat as much as you can, because when you're trying to uh tone your abdominal muscle, muscles which you, when you're having that is recti it's very hard to focus on those muscles so if there is any wall as like fat then it will take longer to fix those issues so lose as much as you can uh, and uh second is kettlebells because um and i used to do squats with kettlebells and the only difference you doing with and without kettlebell is when you're doing without you're not carrying any weight and so when you're doing squats yeah. the only pressure or the things that affect in your body is your thighs but your fo- our focus the patients of there is a rectus focus is abdominal mm-hmm. so when you're holding your weight you tighten your and yeah abs. and when you're yeah. doing your squats you literally have to tighten your abs you have yeah. to breathe in and tuck in all your muscles inside yeah. to do your squats and that's when yeah. it helps to tone yeah, yeah. that's one um skipping Uh, I used to do skipping. Um, that also helped at least two um, hundred to three hundred. But every alternate day, the only thing which I used to do regularly is intermittent fasting and running. Uh, and or oh, that and then kettlebell exercises or skipping. It was to be every alternate. So one is squat, uh, and then um, I used to do uh, burpees. I think uh, it helps as well. It helps a lot. Yes, it helps a lot because when you are jumping and then trying to lie down to catch the breath, you are breathing in and you're holding your abdominal muscles. So any th- any exercise, the key important important thing is any exercise that you do, try to breathe in by pulling in your abdominal muscles. That's the only way you can fix it. Uh, so that's what exactly I did. um no great exercises i had i didn't get uh, go and use any um huge equipments or anything simple things that are available at, at home but, and uh, you can easily do at home have a weight if you don't have a kettlebell carry something some yeah. weight milk bottle or anything you know 2 liters or 3 liters of milk bottle pick up anything or 1 kg of dal if you have a huge box just carry that squats definitely Burpees, uh, I used to do, and um, the other thing which um, I used to do is just lie down on the uh, on the floor flat, and just fold your and slowly lift your legs and try to keep it perpendicular to oh, the so floor. Oh, so you do the abs exercises? Yeah, yeah. but uh, uh, so you keep try to keep it perpendicular. But while you're lifting your leg and trying to keep it perpendicular to the floor. again breathe in and uh, take in those abdominal muscles inside you so i don't know uh, even if i'm talking i'm so used to that even when i'm talking i can't i'm actually pulling my muscles inside because i'm just after doing it it just gets used to you you get used to it and you don't have to literally work on those things you just have to get used to it. yeah so yeah these are the things uh, very simple It was a slow process. Don't rush because our muscles have already loosened up a lot. It's very difficult to tame them. Uh, have patience. Follow it religiously. Whatever you're doing, but definitely intermittent fa- fasting has helped a lot. I'm a big fan of it, and now uh, it's part of my lifestyle. I don't. It's not that I'm staying hungry That's or what starving. That's what you believe. Yeah. Change your lifestyle. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I don't starve. Even today, I had biryani. So I don't start. I had chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> so we have cakes, chocolate, and yeah, sugar. When I said initially that three months you don't eat sugar, so three, that's the three months. You eat on weekends now. No, yeah. <laughs> so after three months, I ate even sugar. I started eating sweets. Um. So so now I'm in a situation, a state where I eat what I want, but I'm continuing with my exercise routine. So I've just made my lifestyle changes so that I can live with it. Right. What happens is if you do. Hardcore uh, diets. We can do for a certain limit. When you you, after that yeah. you go for a holiday or you go home, yeah. then what? And you get to live only once. Yeah. How do, yeah. How can you lose on it? Honestly, even fruits, 
I don't. I'm not a big fan of fruit. So just anything. make a smoothie. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. If somebody asks me, do you want to eat fruit? I just say, okay, make it juice and give it to me. It's yeah. much easier for me than exactly eating, um, fruit. So I'm not a healthy person at all. I haven't. Oh come on, you are. Do, and I so much dedication. By food, in, intake wise, I'm not healthy. At you just all. don't enjoy it, but you just do it. Yeah. yeah. So food wise, I don't because I love my food. I love my so I love deep fried stuff. Okay, deep fried, not anymore, because thanks to air fryer. Uh, so in that way, I eat more of air fryer stuff. But biryani, dal, anything, uh, sweets. Uh, but what I do is I only follow. I eat within the window. And sometimes if I have, to, and if you can ask me, how can you stick to 10 to 2 if you're going out with friends or anything, what do you do? So I have trained my body such that. I can, my body can hold on and keep using the fat inside my body until I eat next. So I don't have to eat twice even this day because body gets trained. Trust me, when you start doing it, body gets trained and it knows where to get that fat from your body and it helps. Mm. Not Tell us with... what to avoid. Exercise, uh, uh, anything. Any exercise that do. I know there's lots of websites, even Google and experts say that you don't have, you shouldn't be doing um push-ups, you shouldn't be doing planks um, and few other exercises um, but with dances recti. I have done everything, trust me. But everybody the only, is different. Everybody yeah. is different, but the only thing, I think the only mantra works, everybody is different, but everybody's muscles have. Yeah, we have the, the same muscles. body parts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it's the muscles is here, it's, mm. it's the gap. Mm. So only thing, only one thing you have to religiously follow when doing any kind of exercise is Pull in your abdominal muscles when you're doing. Breathe in and pull in. You think, sorry to interrupt, you think while walking or doing your kitchen stuff or anything, you, you should do that? And Yes, I do that. Yeah, I do that. Even if I'm standing and cooking, I always pull it. Even if I'm That's talking. That's a good point. Because even when I'm talking, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling it. Yeah. Because I'm, tra I'm continuously, 20% I'm training my muscles so, to get so used So that to. helps to fill up the gap as well. Yes, yeah. very much. When you're cooking, mm -hmm. giving That's a good shower, point, I think. To your babies, you're making the bed, you you're just brushing have the your habit teeth. of tightening yeah. up your yeah. muscles. Yeah. So when you do it regularly, you automatically feel that, you know, and slowly you start feeling your abdominal muscles. I don't know if you know uh, people who have diastasis recti. Even if you come and pinch and cut, you don't feel it. We don't feel it at all. <laughs> we don't feel. And uh, but now I feel that my some sensations, sensations have coming back slowly. And what you see is uh, last year. This is July, all the hard work. What she has this, done. Uh, July yeah, last year, I was still looking very much pregnant and do uh, do any oh, minute. No, this is tremendous uh, hard work. And what I you see right now, I look two months pregnant. No, 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 nine months no, pregnant. no, 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 no. She so, does and more. I have to turn on weekends. Off. We both look pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, girls, don't don't lose hope. Uh, diastasis recti can be rectified without surgery. All you need to do is patience. So, to, last question. Sorry, mm -hmm. how have you checked with the doctor? What is the uh, gap now? Have you checked or? Uh, no, haven't checked. But I just do with my uh, tape and my dresses that I wear, and you know, people. Like so, no, the gap is still there, or? I don't think I I will be having any more of ten centimeters, which I will be checking with the doctor because of this coronavirus. No, oh, she yeah, is yeah, yeah. checking you, mm -hmm. but I keep measuring with my ta uh, tailoring tape. Um, so I have lost good ten centimeters so far. So it's, which is a good, which shows that I'm losing. Um, and uh, and I'm happy. Another thing I'm happy is I don't ha I didn't have to cut my tummy again. Yeah. And go through the whole process. Money is something else. But when you're living alone away from the family, you need to be fit to take and care of the family. And surgery is surgery after all. Yeah. yeah. And it's a, it's a major surgery. Yeah. But again, if you can afford the bed rest that it needs, go ahead. It's a quick, quick fix. You will be, you'll have a flat tummy in three weeks time. Everything is fine. You don't have to run or exercise or pay attention or make any lifestyle changes. But if you want to do it naturally, it's hard. Slow process, but you will get what you want. But I would prefer keep the money side aside, but I would still prefer to do it this way because surgery is surgery. You mm. are, you know, cutting a part of your body and doing all that, and it has always has some risk. Mm. So, sure. so hope it helps. Yeah. And do you have anything else to say, Amitra? Um, no. As, as a gist, I'll just say um, intermittent fasting, walking or running or jogging, physical exercise. Keep that uh, metabolism high, 
um, check on your eating window uh, even if you're not following intermittent fasting please 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 stay out stay away from food after 5 max yes. because it actually after 3 or 4 pm uh, the metabolism rate of our body reduces yes. Yes. exceptionally yes. so you're not for burning lots of fat no. Or um, so it's good uh, that if you stop eating as early as possible by the afternoon if you can mm. once in a while you're going out for a party or That's something fine, you eat yeah. is fine it doesn't count um, yes and do uh, squats if possible have a kettlebell it helps a lot it tones it puts so much pressure on your abdominal muscles that you can feel it you can feel yes, that it pain that yeah. will make you happy it's a pain that will make mm -hmm. you happy yeah, so these are the three things that I religiously yeah, follow. Yeah, no, I've seen like I would I would just like to add with the timing. I say it in Beauty Fit Group all the time that timing is so important. A couple of our ladies have started losing weight just because they have changed their timings. Uh, they were doing exactly the same thing, eating right, doing all the workout, but the timing was wrong. So please remember, it is important to eat, finish early dinners. That's what we say all the time. Feel fit from within feel beautiful from within that's what we believe thanks for watching and hope you like it give us a thumbs up subscribe to our video and put all your questions in the comments below bye bye